but I'm joined live from Sydney by Ray Atrell, Global Research Director at Forecast. Hi, Ray. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Mark. Ray, the euro yesterday, I mean, 118.77, that was the new four-year low. We're inching up a little bit today, Ray, but where are we heading from here? Well, I think we're going to go a lot lower, and I think it's really important to remember that the euro at these levels, 119 and a quarter, is still above its lifetime average. So although we've come down quite a long way quite quickly, we should still remember that the euro is not a fundamentally weak currency here, and relative to the, the fundamentals of the eurozone, or rather the concerns that investors have about whether they may be subject to some sort of default risk on their peripheral European bonds, uh, I think it's completely reasonable to think that the euro should be spending uh, a significant amount of time significantly below its average rate of the last 12 years. So on that basis, you know, we're conservatively forecasting the euro down to between 1 and 110 in the next six months. And I still think the chances of it going down to parity are, are fairly reasonable, as the, uh, the French Prime Minister uh, yeah. suggested on Friday. I mean, you're getting a the sense. reasons that the euro fell. Exactly. I mean, that was Mr. Fiong saying that you know he's quite happy the euro is below 120 and you're getting a sense that european policymakers are happy because of the the, the potential for exports ray but how low would the euro have to go before maybe policymakers do express some concern i suppose it's not the level it, it may be the pace of the decline mm -hmm. yes absolutely we can't rule that out i think interestingly with the euro and you you know you're before I came on, you were talking about the new Japanese uh, government and what they're going to espouse. We're hearing in Japan increasingly loud noises about Japan suffering from the weakness of the euro against the yen. Japanese corporates have budgeted levels around 120, 125 for the euro yen exchange rate, and we're now below 110. So I don't think we're going to be it's going to be that long before we see the Japanese complaining about the weakness of the euro uh, in terms of levels. But uh, uh, going back to what you're asking, I think you're right. I think we're going to have to see moves of three four um, cents per day in the euro dollar exchange rate before that will constitute the sort of disorderly market conditions uh, at which we might see some sort of coordinated intervention but I think we'll see sort of verbal assaults from the G7 initially and I still think we're a way off uh, actually getting physical intervention from any of the G7 central banks. Very quickly Ray, very very quickly, Japan's new Prime Minister you get a sense he'd be quite happy for the end to drift lower. Uh, is he going to express an opinion of as much? Well, I think we might see, when the new government came in last August, one of the first things they said was that the yen should be determined by market rates, and the yen immediately shot up, uh, and they had to frantically backpedal. So I think that we may see some comments today, but as I say, I think it may be more concern about the euro-yen exchange rate than dollar-yen, uh, and I think, as I say, they, they definitely will want to express a view that they would prefer a softer yen here. Okay. Ray, thanks a lot.